The ability to take out a mortgage and only pay off the interest is the most powerful tool in an investor's arsenal. But whenever I talk about interest only mortgages, I hear one big objection. It needs to be paid off eventually. So isn't this just storing up a problem for the future? And I get it, we're conditioned to want to pay off our debts. And it sounds irresponsible to talk about just being comfortable having a debt that follows you around forever with the number of pounds you owe never shrinking. But actually understanding this involves one very simple mindset shift. And once you've made it, your investing life will never be quite the same again. And that is that your properties will rise in value, but your mortgages won't. And this simple, unarguable fact is the key to overcoming any nagging concerns that you've got. Because even if property prices only go up in line with inflation, your mortgage will stay static. In other words, a £200,000 property will eventually become a £300,000 property, but a £150,000 debt will always be a £150,000 debt. So in this example, your loan to value ratio will have fallen from 75%, which is 150 divided by 200, to 50%, which is 150 divided by 300. So even if you owe the same number of pounds, the amount you owe relative to your portfolio value will have fallen by the end of your mortgage term. And this gives you three options when it comes to how you'll actually pay off your mortgages in the end. So option one is to sell one property to pay off all your other mortgages. And this for me is the most appealing. So say you own four properties, each with a loan to value that has fallen to 25% over many decades without you actually paying off a penny. Now, by just selling one property, you can, other than tax, wipe out the debt on all the others. That leaves you owning three properties or producing income Income and growing in value with no mortgage left to worry about. Now that sounds pretty good to me, but there are other options. The second is to just leave your mortgages to run forever. Because every time you refinance, you can start a new term of typically 25 years. And age doesn't become a barrier to lending until you're into your 90s. And if you set up a company structure and introduce your children as directors, which is something we talk about in another video that we'll link to below, your mortgages can last longer than you do. Again, at first, this sounds irresponsible. But actually, it's less scary than it sounds because inflation is shrinking your debt over time anyway. And the third option is a radical one, which is just sell all your properties. Lenders will always ask you how you plan to repay the mortgage, and sale of the property is a perfectly acceptable answer. For me, it's not the most attractive option, but if you want to just offload your portfolio one day, pay off your debts and cash in your capital gains, there's nothing to stop you from doing it. But given that mortgages are so powerful and you could have them for such a long time, Choosing the right one is critically important, but many investors make mistakes here that cost them thousands of pounds over the lifetime of their investment. So watch this video next, where I give you my top tips for picking the best mortgage for you.